Manage Table, and External Table. In this video, I'm going to teach you about the two types of Hive tables, Manage Table and External Table. By the end of this video, you will have a good understanding on these two types of Hive tables and what sets them apart. Manage Table A Manage Table can be created using Create Table Table Name Statement. The syntax for creating Manage Table is as highlighted. External Table An external table can be created using Create External Table Table Name Statement. The syntax for creating an external table is as highlighted. Managed Table versus External Table When you drop an external table, it removes only the metadata. The underlying HDFS directory will remain intact. The purpose of this is to leave it to the users to manage the HDFS files and directories in External Table. On the other hand, when you drop a Managed Table, the data and metadata are removed, which means the underlying HDFS directories and data will also be deleted along with the metadata. Here, both the metadata and the underlying HDFS directories are taken care, and thus the name managed. Let's try these create table statements in the Hive console. Here, employee underscore managed is the table name. I'm going to specify the column names and their data types inside parentheses and separated by a column. Here, employee ID is a column that is declared with int data type. Employee name and employee salary are the columns that are declared with string type data. The row format delimited fields terminated by backslash t character indicates that each field in the input file is separated by a backslash t or tab. So when a file is loaded into the Hive table, Hive expects each field to be separated by tab. In other words, it treats each data separated by tab as individual fields or columns. Stored as text file indicates that the data is stored in input files as plain text files. This is the default file format in Hive. The other supported file formats in Hive are sequence file, orc file, RC file, Parquet file, and Avro files. Now, I'm going to issue describe table name command to see if the metadata is as per what we defined. Then, I'm giving show tables command, and this lists the table which we have just created. Let's try creating an external table. I am using create external table statement to create the external table. Here, external is the keyword used to create the table as an external table. The other syntax is going to be similar to what we used for creating the managed table. The location where the data should be stored can be specified using the location keyword. If you don't specify the location, the table data will be stored into warehouse directory by default. The default warehouse directory should be available in hive-default.xml file in the conf directory of the Hive installation folder. Since we have specified the value of the hive.metastore.warehouse.dir as slash user slash hive slash warehouse in the configuration file, the data of the Hive tables will be stored in this HDFS directory by default when you insert values into the Hive tables. Let's verify the HDFS file. I am giving HDFS list command to list the directories within the slash user slash hive slash warehouse directory. There you go. You can see the data files within the HDFS directories. In this video, we saw how to create managed tables and external tables. We have also explored some of the differences and similarities between these two types of tables. 
In the next video, we will learn about the different ways to insert and update the data in Hive tables. See you then.